Fossils are the traces or remains of plants, animals, humans, or other organisms from the distant past. And it's one of the most important clues researchers use to paint a picture of where we came from. So far, according to scientists, these clues seem to tell us that modern humans have been around for about 200,000 years. Before that, we were Neanderthals. Go back for a million years and we were basically a bunch of apes. But what if this wasn't the case? What if there were fossils that tells a different story and paints a different picture of who our ancestors really were. In this video, we're going to be talking about some seemingly impossible fossils that could completely rewrite human history. First up, let's take a look at what seemed like a metal screw found embedded in a rock that is around 300 million years old. In the 1990s, a Russian research team which investigates paranormal activities claims to have found a screw about one inch long when they were investigating the remains of a meteorite in the Kaluga region of Russia. The screw was embedded in a rock that was later analyzed and found to be between 300 to 320 million years old. Researchers who have examined the photo of the object object say it's really nothing more than a segment of a fossilized sea creature known as a crinoid, which were marine animals that were supposed to have been around 350 million years ago. Others dismiss that theory as they think crinoids were much smaller and with different markings. At least to me, just by looking at the photos themselves, it really doesn't look like a crinoid, but we really won't know more until the group that is holding onto the fossil provides more information about what the fossil is actually made out of. Next, let's move on to Antelope Springs, Utah, where in 1968, a man named William J. Meister, while looking for trilobite fossils, found the fossil of a human footprint instead. Researchers think the person who left the footprint had accidentally stepped on the trilobite, or it could be intentional if the trilobite really upset him. But anyway, he stepped on the trilobite and then eventually the fossil was formed. The fossil was studied by three laboratories and found to be valid, but what was crazy was that the rock in which the fossil was made existed 500 million years before the existence of human Mankind. Also, trilobites existed for 300 million years but went extinct 240 million years ago. And check this out. The footprint was not just a bare footprint but actually a person wearing shoes measuring approximately 10 and a half inches by 3 and a half inches. Wait, that's my shoe size. But I was so careful. The finding was, of course, not without controversy as some researchers believe that although the trilobite was indeed real, they think the print themselves were formed naturally. To me, the Meister print does look like a shoe print and actually Actually, human footprint fossils are not all that uncommon. For example, the next item in our video, the Zapata footprint, was discovered by a hunter in New Mexico. The hunter was so intrigued by the find that he told his friend, Dr. Don Shaki, who had a strong background in archaeology and anthropology. Dr. Shaki, along with archaeologist Dr. Don Patton, returned to the site and they photographed and analyzed the footprint and determined that the stone the footprint was found in was limestone from the Permian period, some 250. 50 million years ago. Next, this is really cool. The London Hammer. This interesting item was found in London, Texas. Yeah, London, Texas in 1934 when a couple, Mr. and Mrs. Max Hahn, went for a hike along a creek and saw a small rock with a piece of wood sticking out of it. The couple found it peculiar, so they took the rock home. Many years later, Max's son George broke open the rock with a, well, hammer and he found another hammer. According to analysis, the hammer head consisted of 97% pure iron, 2% chlorine, and 1% sulfur. And the iron was so pure, it rivals our modern technology today. Also, the rock rock encasing the hammer was dated to the Ordovician era more than 400 million years ago. What's more crazy than that is according to initial measurements, the hammer itself is more than 500 million years old. It's so old that a section of the wood handle has begun to transform into coal. Number five, the fossil of a finger. According to the journal Science, the oldest human fossil was that of a jawbone discovered in Ethiopia from 2.8 million years ago. But a pretty gross discovery made in a quarry in Texas in the 1980s began that by about uh, 97 million years. The discovery was that of a fossilized finger, which according to researchers must have been buried in an oxygen-free environment because that would be the only way for soft tissue to fossilize. The finger fossil was x-rayed, which revealed what appeared to be bones and bone marrow. Although researchers can't say for certain which species the finger belonged to, they don't believe it belonged to primates. 
The fossil was found in Cretaceous rock, which means it is around 100 million years old. And finally, a 500,000 year old spark plug. According to the show In Search Of, hosted by Leonard Nimoy, in Olancha, California, three people went searching for geos for their gem shop. The geos they collected didn't really seem out of the ordinary, but when they got back to the shop and was attempting to cut them open, one of the geos broke their diamond saw blade. Within the geode, they found what looked like some sort of modern device. In the outer layer of the device was encrusted with fossil shells and two metal objects that resembled a nail and a washer. The inner layer of the device was decomposing copper, which surrounded a porcelain cylinder. The geode that the device was encased in was analyzed by a geologist and said to be around 500,000 years old. The device was also x-rayed and that's where it got even more intriguing because researchers saw what looked like some sort of a tiny spring or helix. There has been many theories as to what the device was, with the most popular one being that it was very similar to a modern day spark plug as the internal mechanisms seem to match. When I started working on this video, I found so many discoveries of ancient fossils and artifacts, which I will do a video on that later. And these seemingly impossible items look like common man-made things we see every day. But we don't give these items any weight because they don't really fit into what we feel like our ancient timeline look like. And it's so scary for modern day scientists to accept that, hey, you know what? Maybe there's a chance we were all wrong about this. I mean, no one is 100% sure what happened 200,000 years ago, 1 million years ago, 100 million years ago. But somehow it's ingrained in our heads that this is the way it was, this is how the ancient timeline progressed, and this is it. That's exactly how you became who you are today. But let me know what you guys think about all this. Thank you all so much for watching this video and this channel. See you later.